Jack Marshman. It's good. It's good. 186. Five, five, five. Yeah. 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 Fighting away from home, is it a big change for, for what you're used to? No, I've done a couple now. You know, I've, 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 I've boxed in, in different countries and I've obviously I've fought in America and that as well. So it's, it's just a perk of the job, I think, more than anything. So the fight's just the same. I'm just yeah, looking forward to actually getting it done. Yeah. I mean, the guy, the guy that you're fighting, you're well known for your boxing, the guy that you're fighting is a well known for being a big hitter. Does, has that affected your game planning? No, I think he is definitely a big hitter. He's not a very technical boxer. He's, he's, if he hits you, he hurts you. But I think with my boxing, it's, it's a good thing because I can keep him away from his heavy shots from my long travel and stuff. So I think it's not affecting my game plan, but I'm, I, I think I've proved in my last two fights I'm a more well rounded fighter fight the war people call me as just a boxer so mm -hmm. so you it ain't I'm changing my game plan I might I might put him on his back or you know if I'm keeping him at range of my jab I'll stay there. Yeah. I'll, I'll beat him any way which possible you know. So you, your main event in Cage Warriors on your debut does that put any pressure on you? Not at all it's a move of it uh, it, it makes no difference to me the same as fighting a pro fighting you can fight in a car park or you can fight in a fucking whatever it makes no difference to you it's fighting's fighting so being the main event makes no difference it just means I get less time to have a drink afterwards but uh, yeah so I'm happy with that. It's good. 183.4 How are you feeling about tomorrow's fight? I Man, I feel great, you know, the, the hard pass and past is done, the training, the diet, now we eat, you know. So I'm happy, you know, I'm a professional, I'm just gonna do my job, you know. I'm gonna do my job. I have nothing against the guy, but it's on my way. So, you know, I have to go. Mm -hmm. That's it. So tomorrow I look for the finish. Okay. I mean, Norman, you're an absolutely top class fighter, but sometimes it seems as though you lose a little focus when you're in the cage. This time, are you are you ready and on yeah, the? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting what you're saying. I appreciate that you really follow my fight, and you know that's my main problem. Sometimes I have like a concentration problem. But since I'm a kid, at school it was the same. So tomorrow I'm just going to be focused. Okay. And uh, how much how much do you know about Alan Love? Not that much, man, but like I told you, I've been focused, so I can't be focused on everybody, <laughs> one at a time. Okay, so what, how do you think it's going to go tomorrow? Hmm? How do you think it's going to go? What's um, the result? Tomorrow, I look for the finish. I see a finish. Yeah, KO, TKO, something like that. 2 0.7 for Muhammad Ali. Inshallah, I hope uh, I'm win. I'm uh, good ready. Uh, I'm uh, good. Uh, my plan, my game plan is good. Uh, you see in the cage. Uh, Inshallah, I'm win. Miguel Harrow versus Dave Hill on our Facebook feed. You've had a lot of chopping and changing of opponents for this fight. Has this been a problem? It's not ideal, but it's one of them, you know, you deal with it, you, you know, you, you train to fight, so whoever comes in there, it's fine, I'm just happy I've got an opponent, even though he's seven pounds over, but uh, one of them, yeah. yeah. I mean, the fact that he's coming seven pounds over, but he's a last minute replacement, I mean... Yeah, it's what, that's a fair point, but then, had he said, right, we'll fight you at a catch weight, you know, then you'd be like, alright, but you don't accept to fight, when you know you can be that far over, you say, right, I'm taking it late, let's do a catch weight, and I'll go, alright, so I'll meet you at a catch weight, rather than me busting my ass to get down, because it's, you know, it's a bit, a bit annoying, but it's one of them, you know, shit happens, as long as he gets back, so I swear. Uh, as long as he gets back in the sauna, tries, I'm, you know, I'm happy. Okay.